Endocrine gland disorder. Thyroid gland disorder. Intro. Normal structure. The thyroid gland arises from a midline invagination at the root of the tongue. Grows downwards in front of trachea and thyroid cartilage to reach its normal position. Composition. The thyroid is divided by thin fiber septi into lobules. Composed of about 20 to 40 evenly dispersed follicles. Secretion. Triadotherinine, T3. Thyroxin, T4. The peptide hormone calcitonin. Regulation of thyroid axis. Secretion of thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, is controlled by trophic factors secreted by both the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary. Decreased levels of T3 and T4. Stimulate the release of thyrotropin releasing hormone, TRH, from the hypothalamus. Thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, from the anterior pituitary. Increased levels of T3 and T4. Suppress the secretion of both TRH and TSH. Function. The primary function of the thyroid is the production of the iodine-containing thyroid hormones, triadotherinine, T3, and thyroxin, T4, and the peptide hormone calcitonin. Metabolic. The thyroid hormones increase the basal metabolic rate, which increases the absorption in the gut, generation, uptake by cells, and breakdown of glucose. Stimulate the breakdown of fats and increase the number of free fatty acids, which leads to Decrease cholesterol levels, perhaps by increasing the rate of secretion of cholesterol in bile. Cardiovascular. Increase the rate and strength of the heartbeat. The rate of breathing. Blood flow and the body's temperature. Developmental. Increased cells of the developing brain are a major target for the thyroid hormones T3 and T4. Functional disorders. Hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. Let's talk first about hyperthyroidism thyrotoxicosis. It is a hypermetabolic clinical and biochemical state caused by excess production of thyroid hormones, T3, T4. Causes primary, secondary. Primary, diffuse hyperplasia, Graves' disease, like this photo. Hyperfunctioning toxic multinodular goiter This photo shows that normal thyroid and goiter. Hyperfunctioning toxic adenoma. Iodine-induced hyperthyroidism. Neonatal thyrotoxicosis associated with maternal Graves' disease. Secondary TSH secreting pituitary adenoma, rare. Clinical features. Nervousness. Palpitation. Fatigue. Perspiration. Fine tremors of the outstretched hands. Menstrual disturbances. Heat intolerance. Weight loss in spite of good appetite. The skin of these patients is warm, moist and flushed. Osteoporosis are common. Typical eye changes in the form of exophthalmos. A common feature in Graves' disease. Diagnosis. Blood tests. Iodine uptake scan. Blood tests. Are performed that measure the levels of the thyroid hormones, T4, T3 which must be high to make a diagnosis of hyperthyroidism. The level of thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, also is measured. With hyperthyroidism TSH is low, while T4 and T3 levels are high. Iodine uptake scan like this photo which shows types and shapes of radioactive iodine in different DSs. Measures thyroid function by determining how much iodine is taken up by the thyroid gland. Patients are given a small dose of radioactive iodine that is taken on an empty stomach. The iodine is concentrated in the thyroid gland or excreted in the urine over the next few hours. The amount of iodine that goes into the thyroid gland is then measured. Treatment. Antithyroid medications radioactive iodine surgery. Antithyroid medications Antithyroid drugs may be prescribed to suppress the production and release of thyroid hormones by inhibiting the use of iodine by the thyroid. Radioactive iodine This is the preferred treatment of hyperthyroidism caused by Graves' disease. These overactive cells are damaged so that the thyroid can shrink in size and produce hormones at normal levels. Although this is a safe treatment, most people eventually become hypothyroid after radioactive iodine therapy and therefore require lifelong thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Radioactive iodine therapy cannot be given to pregnant women or those who are breastfeeding. Surgery in severe cases. Surgery to remove the thyroid, called thyroidectomy. If the thyroid is removed, replacement thyroid hormones must be taken for the rest of a person's life.